Speaking of picks, let's let's round out uh, this show. Let's wrap it up with just a couple of picks. Um, I don't want to give too many, but we got a, a couple of games in mind. The first game we'll talk about is Friday, March 4th, and this is a 7.30 Eastern tip-off on ESPN, and this is between the, the Bucks and the Bulls. A nice little Eastern Conference battle right here. Uh, I do not have a line for this game. Again, we're almost a week out, about five days out, but how do you guys feel about this game, the Bucks and the Bulls? Who do you have winning and why? Zay, I'll let you start because I already know who you're going to choose. And I'm going to pick the Bulls. I think they're, they're starting to click again. Uh, obviously, injuries hurting. But, you know, I, I think the Bulls, they understand it's go time. Uh, Chicago, they got the city of Chicago on their back. They disappointed the city with uh, the, the most recent game against the Grizzlies. Um, but they know it, it's time to perform. It's time to mm-hmm. perform. Uh, and you could just tell that by DeRozan. His, he got ejected from last game, but just that fire in him, he, like, that is contagious. And, you know, being around Chicago for so long, um, I, I think that those guys, they, they're hungry. They're hungry and they're ready. So, Bulls in one. <laughs> I love when you say that. <laughs> Yeah, I just... I just don't think the Bulls have enough until they're healthy. When they're healthy, this is going to be a great matchup. I just don't know who's guarding Giannis. Um, it, it, it's crazy because, you know, Zay's been hot with his picks, so it makes me want to pick the Bulls. But the Bulls I think are I've been pretty hot, too. Yeah, everyone but me has been hot. But the Bulls, <laughs> <laughs> the Bulls are at home. Chicago's been rocking this year uh, with their team. We need to catch a game, by the way. Us yeah, too. we do. We do. Uh, Maybe Coach Brown uh, can join us. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll but uh, De- DeRozan's <laughs> going to have to go off in this game, which he has been lately. So it's possible. I don't think. I think it's a tight game, but I think uh, I think Giannis and and the Bucks pull this out. Yeah, you know what? You got the Bucks. Uh, Zay has the Bulls. I'm going to rock with the home team. I'm going to go with the Bulls as well. I don't know what the... I'm too lazy to even look up the previous matchups between these two teams, but I would imagine this year they probably played a couple times. They probably have split it. You know, that's just my guess. But this being an ESPN game and the fact that the Bulls are at home against a team they are somewhat familiar with, and if they ain't familiar with them yet, they better get familiar with them if they want to reach all their goals, their dreams, their aspirations of this year because they're going to have to see the Bucks in the playoffs. So this would be a nice little win for the Bulls to pull off to kind of stake their claim to say hey we're here and if we happen to see you in the playoffs Bucks we feel like we can beat you guys like we did in the regular season so I'm going with the Bulls and I'm going with DeMar DeRozan I know he's getting a 30 piece and Levine I know he's going to give me about 25 you know Vucci man he's going to give me a double double hey yo let's see what he does and uh, Billy Donovan man I, I, I think he coaches you know has a nice little game plan for the Bucks uh, and again shows them that they ain't nothing to be to be played with when it comes to the Bulls. So I'm rocking with the home team here on ESPN Friday night. And again, this is a Friday night game. So you guys know how my psychology, I know I'm weird with that. But this is a Friday night game. Everybody just got paid. Everybody and their mama and their kids coming out to this game. They know it's a TV game. I got to rock with the home team here. I have to. I have to. All right, uh, our last matchup, I told you guys, we will not be doing a lot because we got a lot of Knicks games. Who cares about the Knicks? We got a lot of Lakers games. Who cares about the Lakers? Um, we got a lot of Celtics games, and the one that we'll talk about will be the Celtics. And let's, is this the one we talked about? The the Nets and the Celtics? Or do we want to do Suns and Bucks? I don't want to do a second Bucks game they've already played. So I think we do the Nets and the Celtics unless we had another game in mind. We missed the game. It was Grizzlies and, and Celtics yeah. on Grizzlies Thursday. And Celtics. That's right. We can we can talk about the Nets and the Celtics. That's a good one. We'll do Nets and Celtics instead of Grizzlies and Celtics on Sunday. Yeah, because you got Kyrie playing in that game. It's at Boston. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, all right. In our second matchup, in our last matchup of the week that we're going to talk about. We bringing old Kyrie back home. I want that old thing back. They say home is where the heart is. And I was in Boston when Kyrie was in Boston as well. And I don't know if a lot of love will be shown for this young man as, as he makes his way back 
into Boston Arena. So we have the Brooklyn Nets against the Boston Celtics. This is a 1 o'clock tip-off Eastern on ABC on Sunday. I love these little matinee games. Um, how do you guys feel about this game? And who do you have winning this matchup? Shoot. Yeah, so just a little bit on Brooklyn. I, I read, you know, of course, Ben Simmons having some having some back issues after come, trying to come back for conditioning like he should have been conditioning this whole time, but whatever. So I doubt he'll be playing in this game. Um, this is this going to be a good game. Seth Curry's playing very well. Andre Drummond's playing very well for uh, Brooklyn. Uh, he had a nice little block on uh, Giannis last night or tonight or today or something like that. Um, I'm going to go with Boston at home, though. You know, coming out of All-Star break, Jason Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown, they're figuring things out together. They need to make a little bit of a push here. Brooklyn needs to make a push, too, before Durant comes back, so they're not so far behind. But I'm going to go with Boston. I'm going to go with Boston. Uh, a little Duke on Duke action here. Uh, mm-hmm. Ky- Kyrie versus Jason Tatum and Seth Curry, for, for that matter. Uh, a lot it. of Duke players involved. So, But Boston. I'm going to go Boston. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go Boston too. I'm with BG on this one. Um, Brooklyn, they just they're a suspect team. You know they <laughs> they're just suspect. It's like a concession <laughs> plan that uh, doesn't sell anything but popcorn. You know, like it, it's it's something weird. It's a little so, inside joke with that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I'm going with Boston no explanation needed yeah yeah this is a tough one I think the place will be rocking again it's an ABC game a lot of fans do not like Kyrie now, when I say do not like that's I mean I'm probably undershooting it right there they absolutely despise Kyrie in Boston we know all the reasons for that but with that being said I, I got Kyrie doing some things and that's just a couple of days ago they beat the Bucks. When they were 10-point underdogs, they beat the Bucs. And I think that fire and the aggression and just the want to that the Nets will have outside of Kyrie because you know he's going to want to win this game. But I think his teammates got the same feelings, the same sentiments. Like, they want to win this for Kyrie because they just know how fans are and they just feel like, hey, we about to go into the Hornets' nest. So let's all let's all kick butt for, for our teammate, you know, our, our homeboy, which is Kyrie. So I got the Nets winning this matchup. Um, and that's about it. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I don't think Ben Simmons is playing yet. Uh, we know KD is still out, but I think Kyrie is enough to win this matchup. Uh, back, back in the Boston Garden, which uh, I think again, this will be a game that I'll definitely be locked in, tuned in on, on ABC Sunday, um, at one o'clock. So I'm excited for that one. Yeah, I Fellow totally forget. Yeah. I totally forgot about Kyrie and coming back to Boston. That's a that's a little it? bit of a no. You know what? I am gonna change it. I'm wow. gonna change it. I'm, I'm about go to with jinx Brooklyn. me now. They now the Nets definitely about to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Brooklyn. I'm gonna go with Brooklyn. They've been playing well, so yeah. they need it. They need this. They need. This. They do. They do. But uh, so it's, know, so it's take, it's me and BG versus Zay, huh? Biggest game of the week. Right. Biggest wait, game of the week though is Friday. Friday? Do we have that one? Sectional two Friday night. Oh, yes, <laughs> biggest game. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And, and by the way, so Trojan. <laughs> let's let's wrap that up. Um, let's wrap the show up. And I will say, shout out to our Hobart basketball family. We have our sectional matchup. We drew Portage High School, so we will play Portage this coming Tuesday at what seven thirty is the game? Uh, s- yeah, seven thirty. Right, uh, it don't matter what time the game. We're gonna be ready. No, seven, 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 seven. Okay, we're gonna be ready for the Portage Indians, correct? Yes. Um, and it, we're playing at their place, so it's gonna be a little bit of a madhouse, but we we welcome that. So shout out to our Hobart family, Coach Mike Brown, all our players, and uh, we're looking to get a dub this coming Tuesday. Yeah, shout out to our guys, man. This is uh, winner go home. So winner go home. It. This is yep. it. Last ride. Last right. ride. Zay, you got anything you want to add? Yeah. Hey, shout out to the guys. Let's get this cracking. 
Yeah. All right, let's wrap it up, fellas. Let's 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 head it, man. Great great job. Thank you for doing this. I'm gonna do the outro, man. From us to you, this is me, Coach T. Keep showing us love, and we'll keep bringing you that funk. Peace.